it's Demi, and today I am at the Magic Kingdom because we're going to Cinderella's Royal Table. This is the most popular dining experience in all of Walt Disney World, and I am super excited to tell you that now all of the princesses have returned to this dining experience. When this restaurant reopened, it was just Cinderella, but we are here now, and we're gonna be able to experience it the way it should be experienced with all the princesses. I am super excited. I came here when I was four years old on my first Disney trip. I have some foggy memories of it and I haven't been here since, so it kind of feels like my first time again. And I am so excited to be going into Cinderella's castle. I am super curious of how these character interactions will go, how the food will be, because I've always heard not the best things about this. I also recently just covered Akershurus over at Epcot, which is their princess dining. And so I'm really excited to be able to compare and contrast these Disney princess character dining experiences. And if you missed that video, I will link it here and put it in the description box below. But I'm super excited. Let's just get into it. Let's do Cinderella's Royal Table with all of the princesses and let's go get into some hijinks. Cinderella's Royal Table is a princess character dining located inside Cinderella's castle. This is a prefix dining experience and when you book the reservation, they are going to charge your credit card to hold your reservation. They are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is 65 for adults, 39 for children. And then for dinner, it's $79 for adults and $47 for children. Children under three do get to eat for free. Just got a notification that my table is ready, so let's head on inside. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! My childhood dreams have come true. This is amazing! I turned the corner and Cinderella is, is here already. I guess we're gonna meet her before we even sit down. Something different about this restaurant in Akashur is that Akashur is no longer guaranteeing five princesses, but here they are. Cinderella is always a guarantee right here before you go upstairs, but the other four princesses will be changing depending on the day. Cinderella was so sweet, but now we're gonna head upstairs to the restaurant. You can either take this elevator or take the grand staircase. When you take the stairs, you get to see the beautiful glass pane of Cinderella. And here we are. We're at Cinderella's Royal Table. We're inside the castle. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. I'm, I'm so happy right now. So, so far I see today we have Princess Aurora and Ariel. Jasmine's here. Hi, Jasmine. And Snow White is here. Um, parents, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Uh, where maybe you would want to pause this if a child is around um, and uh, I'll put a timestamp of where to skip to but uh, okay here it goes okay okay that's the same Snow White that we met at Akashuris who was like amazing and we're meeting her again oh that is so cool we're sort of over by the windows it's so beautiful during the day this is it's definitely best to come during the day because you get all this beautiful natural light. I just wanted to get up and look at all the beautiful views from here. Oh my god. When you check in, you can request to get a seat by the window. It's not guaranteed, but if it's available, they will do it for you. This is definitely the best place because obviously the view, but because of also the lighting for your pictures with the princesses, because when you go like over there in the corner, it's really, really dark. And if you remember at Akashur, we had really terrible pictures because the lighting was the worst. And you know, you're spending all this money to be able to meet princesses and have these lasting photo memories. So, you know, obviously this is like the next best section in the center, but you're gonna definitely wanna try to get a window seat for your the best photos possible. Oh gosh, it's wonderful to see you all today. Hi Ariel, how are you? Oh, fantastic. Yeah? Oh, I see you've started your collection of dingle hoppers. Yes, I did. Oh, it's all awesome. it's awesome. How now, are you today? Oh, I'm just wonderful. Oh, good. <laughs> now, Eric did teach me the difference between dinner dingle hoppers and hair brushing dingle hoppers. And okay. I don't want to mix the two up because then you might get hair in your food. So then, which one is the eating oh, one? You see, these are both dinner jingle hoppers because they have four prongs. Okay. But the hair brushing ones have three, and they're just like my daddy's trident. Oh, so, um, that's good to know. Well, maybe we could all go explore and find some hair brushing jingle hoppers for you too. I would love that. <laughs> I love that. You look just fantastic. Yes. Now, would you like to take some portraits together? I would love that. Thank you so much, Ariel. It was so lovely to meet you. I'll smash you later. Bye. 
So here is the table for Cinderella's royal table. First of all, they do give you a wishing star. What a wonderful little keepsake this is. And they are doing autographs, but they also give you the postcard. And here are some of the princesses that signed it. Cinderella, Snow White, Ariel, Aurora, and Jasmine. I guess they need to update the menu because that's the castle before all of its pinks and royal blues were added onto it. But let's take a look at the menu. So think of this as like going to a wedding. You're going to pick one appetizer, one entree, and one dessert. And it's per person, so you're not like sharing with anybody. So for our appetizers, we have the braised beef. We have a soup of the day today, and it is butternut squash. We have the castle salad and shrimp. For entrees, for a limited time, it's literally for like the next like week, they have the 50th anniversary pork belly, but that's gonna be gone very soon. They have a vegan option, which is the Parisian gnocchi, a grilled chicken, a grilled tenderloin of beef, and a catch of the day. And then finally for dessert, they have a cheesecake. They have the clock strikes 12 dark chocolate mousse, and then they have the vegan option, which is coffee pots de cream, which is a coffee-infused coconut custard. Fountain drinks and coffee and all these other drinks are included in your meal, but they do have a wine list, a champagne list, a beer list, in case any of us adults want to get something extra. I just got a coffee, and just so everyone knows, the only milks that they have are cream, regular milk, and 1%, so no non-dairy cream here, unfortunately. And then they do ask you to place all of your order at once, so make sure you have everything ready when the waiter comes. Hello, Aurora! Thank you, you too, you're beautiful! I was just gonna say that. But you know, my Aunt Mary with her might try to make your outfits blue. Yes. She has been known to fly around the kingdom and do that. Yeah, but you look so wonderful in both colors. I mean, honestly, I don't think there's a color you don't look good in, oh, so. I, I am honored. I always show my fairies. They should do half pink and half blue, or maybe purple. I would love that. I like that too. Maybe we could all have. I would love that so much. Well, that's my aunt Flora. She's busy, okay? Okay. Yeah, would we like any portraits to get? Oh, we would love that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Laura. Nice to meet you. Yes. So here is our first appetizer. This is the braised beef, carrot, and coriander puree, shallot jam, and horseradish remolata. Here is our other appetizer. This is the castle salad. I'm here with a person, so that's why I have two. It's not like I get two. Um, and this is romaine, Brussels sprouts, goat cheese, spring vegetables, and a green goddess dressing. Let's try the salad. It's super, super simple. It's literally mostly just romaine lettuce, but you get a lot of goat cheese in there, and I love goat cheese. So obviously, if you don't like goat cheese, this is a skip for you, but very fine, nothing really, anything there, but yeah, you know, it's a simple salad. All right, let's try the beef. Wow, that's actually really good. The meat is like falling apart. It's really, really soft. The sauce is pretty good. It's a little bit sweet, but mostly it's just like giving little zhuzh to this like really, really well cooked piece of meat. Um, it's not too, too fatty either. Like there's a little fat on here, but like, it really just falls right off, super soft. This is, um, I'm, I'm honestly very surprised. Um, I did not expect it to be this soft or this good, so I'm happy to report that it is. Hello, Jasmine. Where are you traveling from? I'm from New York. What was that like? Yes. Well, Abu did not it up there, of course. Did, she, did he really? the album he'd ever seen. Yes, that's he was true. So sad he couldn't take it with us. <laughs> have to host you back in Africa next time too. Absolutely. Oh, that would be wonderful. Your dress is just stunning by the way. All the sparkles, I mean, just are stunningly oh, gorgeous on you. Compliments on to Jeannie, of course. Yeah, She's absolutely. You are so you gorgeous. Flowers on there too. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. That's just so gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. Thank you. I'm certain you can make one for you too next time. Ooh, that would be awesome. After all. I would love that. I love the genie. I would love to hang out with the genie. Oh, 
I'm certain he would like that too. One time he, has he gave lots me a, of jokes to tell after all. One time he gave me a high five, and I I was really happy about that. Oh, he did. Yeah. You'll have to try a high seven next time. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> would you like any portraits? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Jasmine. It was so nice to meet you. You as well. Have a wonderful time in the kingdom together. Thank Have you. Now tell us how I saw you, right? Absolutely. Bye. Here are the entrees that we got today. First up, we have the most popular item here. This is the grilled tenderloin of beef. It's with potato pave, roasted seasonal vegetables, and a house-made steak sauce. And then we decided to go for the vegan option so that I could highlight this for my vegan friends out there. This is the Parisian gnocchi. This is seasonal vegetables, celery root puree, and a vegetable, look at this, look at this, look at this, demi-glaze. So I'm super excited, let's dig in. So these little red circles here is actually the gnocchi. They have it like colored. And at first I wasn't sure if maybe they were like using gnocchi as like another term, but that is the gnocchi, but they only gave us like eight pieces. So this is mostly vegetables, but let's give it a try. I actually really like that. It's basically like a stir fry with gnocchi. The gnocchi has pretty good flavor. It's very simple, but like, it's good and it gives it like a nice texture because it's nice and soft and you have all these crunchy vegetables. The sauce feels like normal stir fry sauce. It's nothing like incredibly exciting, but like I thought it was gonna be like kind of like a nothing, but it's it's pretty good, honestly. I think this is a pretty decent option. Cause you know, a lot of time the vegan option is very like whatever. This is, I feel like has a lot of thought into it. You also have the beets in there that really fill up the, you know, the space and your stomach, obviously. So honestly, I think my vegan friends will be pretty happy with this. I, I'm, I'm pretty good with it. It's not like the most amazing dish again, but it's, uh, it's definitely one of the better vegan things I've had in Disney for sure, like for a meal. So there you go, vegans. I, let me know in the comments, do you think you would come and get this meal? Because this is your only entree option. So. Let me know, vegans. Okay, so here is the meat. We asked for it medium. It actually looks pretty good. That looks like medium. Let's uh, give this a try. All right, let's try the meat. Got the sauce on there. It's not like seasoned at all, but the sauce is good. It's got a little like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say like real heat, but like a little tingly heat in there. But the meat is cooked perfect. This is really good. It's not medium well, it's not medium rare, this is medium, which is how I like my meat to be. And I feel like that's, I always have a hard time actually achieving a medium, because it's always usually one or the other. Um, the, meat, the meat needs to be seasoned more, but it's not like terrible. It's probably gonna be your best option here. The thing is, the reason, besides the fact that I wanted to show the vegan option for my vegan friends, like the other options are like, is like a chicken, like, and so the, the fish will constantly change, so I feel like that wasn't helpful. And then chicken is just like kind of chicken, and I wasn't, I don't know if it's gonna be like amazing, it's probably not, you know, so, and obviously this is the most popular one, and I wanna get it, and so you're still gonna have like, probably the best time with this one out of the options. Maybe the fish might be better um, if you're a fish eater, but it's fine. You know what you're getting, you're not at, you know, La Cellier or Yasmin Steakhouse, it's fine, it's cooked fine, just wished it had a little more seasoning. I definitely want to try this potato though, I really love when uh, you have like the stack of potatoes like that. Oh, that's actually really good. It's like really surprisingly creamy on the inside. And you have a little bit of the crispy on the outside. I could have had a little more pepper in this for my taste, but like, this is, that's pretty good. Again, a little under seasoned, but I really like the creaminess of it and the different textures. That's very tasty. I love potatoes like that. That's very good. And then you have your seasonal vegetables today. They gave me asparagus, which yay, there was salt on. And a carrot. Totally fine. You kind of have an idea of what you're gonna get when you come here, you know what I mean? So you're here for the castle, you're here for the princesses, but at least the food isn't like, awful, especially because of the price that you're paying. And also because it's like a set price, like everything is priced the same. So like if you think about it, like this is the better, the, the best option for your money because you're getting meat, 
versus like a chicken. So that's that's the entrees here at Cinderella's Royal Table. But I am super excited to see dessert. Hi, Snow White. It's so good to see you again. It's so wonderful to see you again too. My goodness, I'm so lucky. Yes, like twice and like within the span of two weeks. Oh I can't even believe this. This I is know, so cool. Know. I'm so excited. This is like my first time here. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Oh my gosh. You look so beautiful today. You're oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's, that's a great idea, though, isn't it? Yeah. Your bow, by the way, and your gem is stunning today. It's really getting all the light from the windows. It's really sparkling. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Well, your cheeks are already so rosy too. How could you even get more flush? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think we should definitely do that. Yes. Yes, we saw him at Epcot. Yes. And we saw your topiary. It was beautiful. And all of your friends. That's so good of them. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I love her so much. She definitely remembered us. And she even made a little uh, video so that I can send to um, my baby cousin who was gonna come meet her in a few weeks. And I was telling her the, in the in the video, she kept asking, like, Snow White, she tripped in and talked to her, Snow White, Snow White. She loved it. It was so lovely seeing her. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. So I need like my OG Disney people like who have been coming to these parks for years to tell me if I'm crazy. But when I came to this park, I was four years old, right? And I have this memory of sitting over there at that section. I also have memory of meeting Peter Pan here and him being like mean to me, but like, you know, not like mean, but like mean to me. It's one of my first memories. And that would have been in 1999. Tell me if that was ever the case here, please. If Peter Pan was ever here, unless I am just like, I don't know, Mandeling effect my entire life. Okay, update, I just called my mom and she said we'd 100% met Peter Pan here. We came for breakfast and this was in 1999 in the summer. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I, like it's one of my first memories ever. I was like really like hoping I was not like making this up out of nowhere and I'm glad I was not because I remember like Peter Pan like saying something snarky to me and I was right. And it definitely was over there in that section because it looks so familiar. That is like a core memory in my brain and I'm so glad that I did not make it up because when you're a kid, you you know, memories get all mixed up but I was not wrong about this. I, I <laughs> Unless my mom is also wrong and we're all just really wrong. So someone confirm or deny, I don't know, you know, what the, the what the answer is, but it doesn't matter. I'm just really happy to be back here. This was, this is so awesome. Here is our dessert. Look how beautiful they are. First, we have the Quack Strikes 12. This is dark chocolate mousse with a caramel and crunchy praline center, served with chocolate sauce and a hazelnut gelato. And then we have the vegan option. This is the Coffee Pots de Crema. It's coffee infused coconut custard, passion fruit, Gili and crumbled chocolate espresso beans. Vegan option or not, I really wanted to get this. I love like coffee desserts and cream and it's just stunning. I'm glad I'm able to showcase that off as well for my vegan friends today and I'm excited. Let's dig into this beautiful dessert. First, let's try the Clock Strikes 12. That is the inside. The ice cream is melting away, so let's dig in. Whoa, super chocolatey but I really like that you get that like a little crunchies at the bottom, gives it some good texture. Super smooth chocolate though. And um, at first it feels like a little bit rich, but it's really not that bad. When you have a mousse, it has to be, the, the chocolate can't be too rich, otherwise you're not gonna be able to eat the whole thing. That's the point of a mousse, that you need to be, be able to eat the whole thing without feeling like it's too much. So that's really good. Let's try it with the, uh, the hazelnut ice cream. 
Oh my god, it's like Nutella. Oh my god, this, this is literally a Nutella. I love this. Yeah, so that hazelnut ice cream basically just is super hazelnutty. It just gives you that like Nutella flavoring, obviously. So when you mix it with chocolate, which is Nutella is chocolate and hazelnut, you're literally just getting Nutella. Honestly, like that's really good. But I feel like it's, I feel like it's a very common thing, Nutella. And like, I feel like honestly, for me personally, I kind of like it separate because then it just kind of feels like something that's not that unique, even though this is a very cool pairing to make it okay. feel like that, but. Yeah, this is really good. I'm really happy with this. Obviously, if you love Nutella, mix them together and do both. I'm, I kind of like going to go back and forth on it, but um, the mousse itself on its own is very, very good. Obviously, super, super pretty. I think you'll be happy with this if you're a chocolate fan. All right, let's try this out. Ooh, so creamy. Okay, so this is very light. It has almost like a... Um, Obviously not gelatin because it's vegan, but almost like kind of texture. And then it's just a very subtle coffee flavor. Honestly, I was expecting it to be a little bit better. It's very, very simple. There's really not much here. It's just kind of like if they brewed a pot of coffee and then just kind of like gelled it up a little bit. It's not my personal favorite. Um, and if you don't like coffee, this is your only eat vegan option for my vegan friends. So. Yeah, I would really love to know. I know I asked before, but if you are vegan, what do you think of this menu? Is it worth it for you to come, or is this like not even like going to be good for you? Obviously, it, it, you know, it, it's you know one option. I mean, I'm glad there is at least an option, but having only one option is very limiting for a lot of people. So let me know what you would do. This just doesn't really hit it for me. But I do like at the bottom, like there's actual like coffee in there. But still, it's just, it's just kind of coffee. There's really nothing else to it. So with tax and the discount, don't forget, it came out to $87.92. Definitely a hefty price tag for a character dining, but like, honestly, it, it can't really beat being in Cinderella's castle and uh, getting to meet so many princesses at the end of the day. As you're exiting, make sure to pick up either a wand or a sword. Actually, these look are like the same wands that they had on the that they gave out on the Disney Wish. By the way, I did 12 videos on the Disney Wish. I'll link that for you right here. And it says Cinderella's Royal Table on it. And the sword says CTR. This is awesome. Well, my dudes, that was Cinderella's Royal Table here at the Magic Kingdom. I had a fantastic time. I have always heard very negative things about the dining experience here and the character interactions, but my character interactions were fantastic. I did not feel rushed at all. They took the time, they were talking and taking lots of photos. I I think, I don't, I don't know if that's maybe changed at all, but like my interactions were fantastic and I've always heard that they were always rushed here and I did not feel that way at all. The food was surprising. I'm honestly shocked how good it was. Now this isn't like fantastic food at all, no, but like the food was still like good. Like there was really nothing like terrible. Uh, I really thought like, you know, getting the steak, it wasn't gonna be cooked correctly, but the steak was cooked perfectly. I just wish it had a little more seasoning on it. That first appetizer meat was like butter that it was, it was wonderful. Um, so I'm like super pleasantly surprised and especially now that we've done both this and Akashur's and Akashur's changing their menu to that family style where you, everybody gets the same thing um, and what's on there now, it's just, it just is not my favorite anymore and I used to love Akashur's. So if you are deciding which character dining you should be doing, I mean, obviously you also can't beat Cinderella's Castle, but if you really are like, oh, well, which one is kind of like worth it? You know, at this point, you're gonna be spending a lot of money. This is a little bit more, but if you're gonna spend it, this has the better lighting for the photos that will last forever. This has the better food, and it has the better overall, like, Disney experience. And I know it's hard to get this reservation. You know, people, this is the highest, you know, the number one reservation in Disney. Keep checking, I'm telling you, like, we originally had a reservation the other night to come, but then we realized we do not wanna have dark bad lighting again and I was like oh let me check to see if this day has one and it just like yeah there was there was a, a you know 12 o'clock reservation there for me for us and I was like this was awesome so just keep checking check you know as the time gets closer to when you're coming something may open up 
just keep checking and you know hopefully you get to come in and have a really lovely experience i know i did so anyway thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel follow me on instagram at magical hijinks check out the patreon become a patron you'll get exclusive bonus content bonus lives a free dining guide to walt disney world by disney for foodies help with trip planning access to the discord and so much more and you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like these character dining experiences to this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Bye-bye.